the travel may not be very comfortable the roads are so very filled with speed breakers and all kinds of obstructions is a journey like of our ascent i felt that our speed has to be brought down in the west we have become very speedy no doubt and to bring down this speed we have to use meditative process that we feel our peace within ourselves also the thoughts are bombarding our minds and we react very fast to others and to these thoughts so one has to be aware one has to be knowing what is happening within yourself that the thoughts are bombarding you you are trying to ascend and you find it very difficult to get rid of the thoughts the thought process can start by your conditioning or by your ego only two problems and you are the one who is under the challenge so you have got these simple people in the village who start watching everything but they do not react if you do not react then your thoughts will give up so the first thing should be to watch yourself that you are not reacting but you are experiencing and enjoying the silence the subtleties the beauty the glory of your being as well as whatever is around you don't have to force yourself to break this habit but just to be on the watch out it's not necessary to talk too much about it also nor it is necessary to think about anything because supposing you see a tree so it's a tree only what are we going to think about it and whatever we may think about it it's going to be the tree so there's no harm in appearing little bit stupid doesn't matter 
But this is the basic thing is that when we start analyzing, we are breaking our own nerves and poisoning our own mind and brain. So to watch something without analysis, without thinking about it, is reality. If you can achieve that point where you watch everything without reacting, you are in reality. And then only the penetration into the subtleties of your surroundings, of your relationships, your friendships. The whole universe dawns upon you. That's why I have said that in this pilgrimage, the first thing we have to remember that we have to be aware of ourselves. But when you are only thinking about others, how others have to behave, they should do like this, that leave it to your leaders to break their heads. That's not your job. It's a headache for them, I know, but they have to do it, it's all right. But why do you want to break your heads for nothing at all? So to judge others, to think of others, what they are doing, what's wrong with them, about anything whatsoever you may think is wrong, is not going to be corrected. Like I know some people who are especially bureaucrats, they are traveling supposing by the car. Then they will say, I think, you see, this road should have gone this way, or I think it would have been nice if this house was facing the other way. But it's not, you see. It is not going to face. It is going to be the way it is. So what is the use of wasting your brain, your mind, your thought in suggesting th something which doesn't work out? And never going to work out either. So when we start like, I think these trees should have been little taller, but they are not. I think that the crows should stop their noise, they will not. So just accept it. Acceptance is the way we are going to enjoy. But acceptance doesn't mean tolerance, because tolerance means you have to work very hard to accept that the trees are of the same height, they can't grow, it's too much for you. When you say, I have to tolerate it, you see, because my mind doesn't accept. So. Acceptance as it is, whatever you see, acceptance. And that is how people grow, I have seen, those who start accepting. That's the sign. That's the sign of their strength and their depth, like the propensity of this Mother Earth. She is what she is. And she bears whatever is there.
if you put a heavy thing on her, she'll put equal and opposite force and bear it. She doesn't say, I'm tolerating it, I'm uh, exerting any pressure, but she's just accepting. So the witnessing and awareness develops when we start just accepting things as they are. I think it doesn't work out. I think it would have been better like this, it doesn't work out. Then second problem is, I like. Now, I like to eat a cake, but there is no cake, what to do? Now whatever is there, enjoy it as a cake. But if you go on thinking like that, I like whatever is not here, you can never be happy. 